how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I'm doing the update to Welcome to the Hellmouth, which is of course a Buffy inspired project pan that I absolutely love. Uh, it was created by Jaylon. I like to think she specifically created it for me and my love of Buffy. <laughs> it's just the minute I saw it, the minute I was just, I don't care what else I'm doing, I'm doing this project because I beckon love her. Um, Jaylon's channel is J Loves Makeup. Jaylon, J. Do you ever say a word and go, that no longer makes sense? Uh, date 13th, 13th of March 2022 to October 13th. Wow, words are really hard today. Awesome. Uh, October 13th, 2022. Seven month project for the show's seven seasons and there is 13 prompts for the main 13 characters. We got there, we got there. So let's go. First and foremost is Spike. Team Spike all the way. Uh, a product that redeemed itself and I have chosen uh, for that prompt the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder because I originally thought I didn't like this but then um, I was doing reviewing all my powders in my collection and had to really sit down and go through them all and try them out for a period of time and see exactly what I thought. I went, oh hang on, this is actually quite beautiful. So I nearly decluttered this because I, it, I'm glad that I'm changing my ways because I would buy a product, try it once, maybe twice and go, mm, I don't really like it, into the back of the drawer or declutter it. I wasn't trying things out properly and I wasn't giving them a fair go. And now I am and I'm thrilled because like that I'm finding out that here's a product I thought I didn't like and I love it. It just, I use it um, as a finishing powder. So I'll have all my makeup done. I'll have my regular powder on, my bronzer, my highlighter, my um, blush. And I'll get a really fluffy brush. Something kind of like this. Do you know that's not too... Um, compact I suppose or dense and I'll just very gently go over especially where I would have bronzer blush and highlighter those kind of areas to really just mesh everything together and it does it brings it all together beautifully with just the slightest glow to the skin without looking like you've highlighted essentially love it anyway we're not here for a review Ruth we're here for progress so I have this in for 13 uses and I have used it eight times which means I have five more uses to go on that one uh, next up is oh the gift. Uh, this was from Courtney. Thank you, Courtney. And it is the Herbivore Prism 12% AHA, 3% AHA, BHA, sorry. Um, and it is completely gone. Um, I got how many uses? I got five uses out of it, which isn't bad. You know what I mean? It's a small little glass container. And um, it was nice. I've since looked it up. I thought, yeah, that's it. that's nice. I might purchase that because I enjoyed the consistency of it and it was nice to apply, etc. But it's quite pricey, the full size of it. So I've put it on a wish list for the sites that sell it. And if it goes on sale, I might consider it. But um, at full whack, no, I wouldn't purchase. But I, I did enjoy it. Um, I did use it two days in a row, which was a mistake. I wasn't thinking. Um because my skin was kind of on the third day going, ooh, what, what are you at there, Ruth? What, what are you up to? You know, so I was like, oh, okay, let's bring you back down to kind of once or twice a week. But really enjoyed it. But that was done. Uh, next up is Mr. Pointy, which is what um, Buffy uh, calls her steak that she uses in her day-to-day -day working life. Um, uh, a product that you sharpen and I chose the Jumbo NYX eye pencil. This is it here. Um, and I have only used it twice out of the 13 uses. Um, today is one of the days you won't obviously see it because I have it as a base. Um, I probably will be getting more use out of it because I have a pastels palette rolled in to and punk, I want to say, and this would be great as a base to really kind of get them to pop a little bit. Um, 
but still I've used it twice you know twice more than I was using it it was sitting in my drawer and not being used at all uh, next up is the Slayer a product that slays now I had forgotten to pick a product last month uh, when I was doing this video so afterwards I picked something and put it in bear with me the link is tenuous at best but you know that's what we do here so what I went for is Buffy will often slay a vampire with holy water so I brought in a facial mist because it's made of water and it starts with heat it's hydrating so like holy water hydrating uh, <laughs> look at we go with what we can here okay so uh, my goal is to finish this completely so it was brand new when i brought it in and uh if you can see the little mark on it there oh i won't i don't have much use on it yet because i was finishing off another spray in my 50 shades of purple which is ended shortly so i said right that needs to get my focus but this will now be my next focus one um but it's lovely the only thing i don't like about the sprayer it's a bit of an aggressive it's nice, but it's just a bit aggressive. Um, but it's perfect. It's too feckin' 50. And it does the trick for between my layers of skincare at night. <coughs> Happy days. Uh, next up is uh, Sunnydale. Uh, a yellow product or packaging. And I have chosen the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask that I got from... I got this one from Deb. Give me a little pack of them. They're so fucking cute. Um, and this is gorgeous and it smells like lemons. Like actual lemons. Do you know, I, when I smell it, I think of pancakes for some reason. Do you know, like crepes that you'd put uh, just sugar and lemon on? Mm. Anyhow, you probably won't be able to. Oh, you can probably maybe see. Um, I've been using this away pro probably every day, I would say I've had it on my lips uh it's my kind of morning one and i love it it's beautiful uh my goal is to finish this and this does have a bit of a well in it but it's not this big if you know what i mean so i reckon i'm halfway through at the moment so maybe a roll out next week month next week next month we shall see um did i say that that is the Laneige lip sleeping mask i don't think i did but there you go that's what it is have the little eyes uh the potentials an item uh you haven't tried yet but has the potential to be amazing danny just awesome wonderful danny sent me this if like if you heard the squeal out of me when i opened up the box that she sent me and saw this little guy peeking out of me stop it stop it the feckin' cuteness of it, and then look at the colour story. I mean, come on. Like, that is just divine. Like, they've had two palettes since, and I just, no, this is the one. This is the one. It is beautiful. Uh, what have I used so far? So, I have used, um, I have used uh, this one. What's that? I'm just going to point to them. I've used this brown. I've used the dark brown. I have used this full row today. This is what I have on my eyeballs today. And I have a little bit of this as well on the bottom uh, lash line. So I still have this kind of goldy colour. This green and this kind of... This is actually a super shock, which I didn't realise uh, today when I tried to put it on. Because I tried to put it on with a brush in the inner corner and it just didn't work for me. Um, so yeah, I still have three to go. But I just love this look that I've done today. I just love it. I've been watching um, and following Rebecca Morgan on her Instagram. And she is using Sweet Tooth from Gemini Smoke Sessions, I think. Or no, um, Melt Smoke Sessions. And she's been doing the most beautiful looks and different looks. And I just, I kind of get stuck in a rut of just doing outer corner bit deeper and then lighter all the way in and I very rarely do a halo eye I don't know if you can tell that it is actually a halo eye today um and I just want to play with my eyeshadow placements a bit more I've actually saved her Instagram post um so that I can kind of try and recreate some of the looks that she's done because they're just so interesting the way she's done them I I love her makeup style anyway she's just beautiful I adore her um so yeah so that'll be staying in but i would imagine probably next month there might be a rollout which i'll probably be reluctant because i've thoroughly enjoyed playing with it thoroughly uh next up is the key an item that is the key to your makeup routine and that is the elf matte potty primer or as like um 
I did like, okay, the e.l.f. Potty Primer, the original one, until I finished it up in a project earlier this year, uh, was my main base for my makeup. I couldn't do my makeup routine without it, basically. It just makes my makeup sit beautifully, I feel. Um, and I got a little three pack around Christmas of the matte, the original and the luminous. So this is the matte one that I'm trying out at the moment. I want to use it to completion. I don't like it as much as the original, I have to say. Um, look, the name is, or the clue is in the title there, matte, and it is very matte. And almost because of the colour of it, I don't know, the other one, the colour of it didn't show up as much. And I feel, I don't know if it's because it is matte, it, it does seem to go on the skin quite white and kind of, oh, it definitely mattifies the skin, but I feel like maybe it makes it a little bit ashy or something. I don't know, not loving it. Now, does the trick, you know, everything sits nicely on it, but I prefer the original so far. And uh, my goal is to finish it, I've used it 5, 10, 15, 17 times. So I'm getting good use out of that one. Uh, next up is Once More With Feeling. The greatest musical episode of any TV show, in my humble opinion. It's just perfection. Perfection. Just start to finish. One of the and it's such a phenomenal episode as well. It's not just that you know what I mean, the singing and the blah 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 and the dancing grand, but it's actually such a phenomenal episode as well and so integral to that season storyline. Love it. Anyhow, an item you love so much you could break out in song, and that is the Revolution Skin Finish Luminescence. This is beautiful. I adore this. If you ever see this anywhere pick it up because it is beautiful you can use it as a finishing powder you can use it as a very subtle um highlighter a very kind of just gentle glow on the skin um it's even hard to see you know I, it's one of those products that's almost a nothing product but does so much you won't see it. It's just beautiful. I love it. Um, I have it in for 13 uses and I've used it four times. I am finding that it is conflicting a little bit with the e.l.f. powder because I would use it in a similar kind of way um, except for sometimes I'll use it as a highlighter, kind of a gentle highlighter. Uh, next, a Faith, or Faith, one of my favourite characters. Absolutely love her. Love when she comes into it first and then she changes and then she the last season she changes but I just love her. A product that was once good and is now evil. Or is she? And I have don't know where I put it. Ah, here it is. <laughs> um I have the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer in Satin Finish. I wonder if you can see the windowing up there at the top had it in for 13 uses and I've actually used it 13 times and the reason that I see this as a, a product that was once good and is now evil is that when I was younger concealer was fine I could use whatever one I wanted uh, but now it's um, the devil incarnate really you know because it can make my under eyes look like someone just went and then padded loads of sand on them. <laughs> um, it just, yeah. And this, this was okay. It was okay. Um, have it on today. Have a bit of creasing. It is what it is. I try to go very lightly with concealers now. And only when I really need them. Um, but yeah, I've used it 13 times. And it's nice. It's fine. Uh, would I rush out and buy it again? No. I've yet to find a concealer that I would rush out and buy again. Uh, next up is the anointed one a newer item in your collection and one of the newer items again I got this around Christmas this is the Fenty Beauty is it easy drop or ease drop I'm not sure blurring skin tint skin tint I don't know if I agree with that because I feel like this is pretty medium coverage maybe it's not full coverage but it's not skin tint in my opinion um so I have this in for 13 uses and I've used it nine times so another five uses on this one as well I have the shade seven uh, I quite like it it's nice again don't know what I'd rush out and repurchase it but it's fine it's nice it works it um 
I don't hate it. It's not exactly a resounding, amazing review, but there you go. Uh, next up was Hellmouth, a black item. Hellmouth is where is why Buffy is in Sunnydale because uh, the Hellmouth is it attracts evil essentially. So a lot of the vampires and demons and all that seem to congregate around it. Um, and it was a black item colour patching and I had the Dior, Dior, wow, Dior Show Mascara. And it's a little sample. I think Valerie might have given me this one. Um, the brush was massive. It was fine. Nothing revolutionary or anything like that. I wouldn't run out and purchase it if it was cruelty free wouldn't bother me. Uh, but I did get a good lot of uses out of it. I actually got nine uses out of it. Um, and like I said, it was fine. It's grand. Nothing, nothing particularly special. Certainly not worth the fancy ass price tag it has. Um, and next is Becoming, an item you love with all your heart. And I brought in the PS Prep and Perfect Prime and Infuse Instant Hydration, Hydration? Prime Spray. I love these absolutely love these i get these in pennies or primark here and um there's a brand new one that came in i don't know if can you see because the, the water man you probably can't it's down to about here and it just has the most beautiful mister on it mm. just love it and um it's definitely what i would consider to be a finishing spray not a setting spray so it kind of melts all the powder together on your skin and just kind of gives it that lovely go lovely glow kind of like a uh, max fix plus and very similar packaging and like i said it's just wonderful spray on it and i think these are only 455 50 something like that wonderful love it um had it in for 13 uses have used it 13 times yay uh the last one that I had picked last time was the bronze, an item that reminds you of a song, musician, band, or makes you want to dance. And the bronze would be the local kind of club that they would go to as a gang, you know, hanging out and stuff like that. And by club, I mean, you know, there was drink there, though. They were allowed in, but they weren't allowed to drink, I'm sure. Something like that. I don't know. But it was almost bands. And oh my God, like if any place personified 90s, it was the bronze because it was all those wonderful, grungy 90 bands that you just, oh, I loved it. Um, and what I brought in was the Selena Gomez um, Rare Beauty Matte Lip. Oh yeah, Selena Gomez was the musician and Rare Beauty was the brand. A matte lip cream and Confident. This is it here. And I really like this. It's very comfortable on the lips. A very pretty shade. I'll give you a little swatch. There you go. Uh, I've used it five times. So it's staying in. It's not going anywhere for now. Another eight uses to go on it. But I really like it. It's very nice. It's very comfortable. Um, it's matte but it's not... Um, it's not... It transfers basically and um, so it doesn't like dry down and give you raisin lips Jaylon and Valerie <laughs> butthole lips um, it just yeah it's quite comfortable on and it looks quite pretty and it's a nice shade I do like this a lot uh, so that one is staying in so we have a few rollins hurrah so the first item that is coming in and I didn't randomize these i chose them and the reason being is for example i currently have 10 11 highlighters and projects <laughs> that's just a little taster of the ridiculousness that's going on with my projects at the moment so i had to choose products that i can achievably use and get some usage on and uh you know pick the prams to fit if that makes sense i hope you don't mind i'm sure you won't you all understand so first xander xander's obviously one of the scooby gang uh, a product that has a funny witty sarcastic name and i have chosen the elf holy hydration it sounds like it sounds like something out like of batman like holy hydration batman do you remember the old ones like the really old ones the cartoon not cartoon the tv show can't even remember their names, the actors' names. It's like had all the bow, boom, boom. Oh, 
Beckham used to love that. Myself. My dad used to watch it. Um, this is the Elf Holy Hydration Face Cream. And this is lovely. This is relatively new to my collection. Uh, got it again around Christmas time. Did a lot of shopping around there. <laughs> um, kind of November, kind of Black Friday sales, you know, things like that. Anyway, not over here for real. Uh, with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide com Complex, I have used it a little bit. It's quite a thick one. So I like it for, as my night cream. And um, yeah, it's lovely. It's just a basic moisturizer. You know, nothing fancy. No scent, which is fantastic. And... Um, yeah, my skin seems to be enjoying it so far. Uh, and my goal on this is to finish it, to use it up completely. Next up is the Master. And the Master was the first kind of baddie. So each season has a baddie of the, you know, you have your regular uh, vampires and demons and all that that you have to kill. But there's usually an overriding kind of baddie as well. And the Master was in the first season and he was ancient. And so the oldest item in your collection are in a category. So I chose a category and it is eye creams. And this is the oldest um, eye cream in my collection. Uh, this is from Liqueura, which is the Aldi range. And I just think it, the pattern is just beautiful. It's the Avocado Bright Eyes Overnight Retinol a Sleeping Mask. I don't know that there's any retinol in this, to be honest with you. But anyway... Um, here it is here so i still have quite a bit left probably have half it left and i want to completely finish it i just love the, love the jar it's just beautiful um but i need to finish it up because it's been open for a while now um obviously trying to uh dupe copy um glow recipe uh, but yeah, that's a finished goal. And next up is Hellmouth, a black item or an item with black packaging. And look, I took a bit of a liberty here. I have black top on it and black writing on it and the black label, you know. Uh, this is the rosehip oil from The Inky List and I want to finish that up. I don't have much left to be honest, but I need to finish it because these go, I find oils, especially rosehip oils for some reason, can go rancid. Uh, if you don't use them up, you know, within the kind of six months mark of opening. Um, so I need to knuckle down now and finish this because um, I don't tend to like oils as much in the summertime. It's more of a autumn, winter, springtime kind of product for me. So that needs to get completed. And last, but by no means least, uh, I may be dead, but at least I'm still pretty. And again, that is from that first season and... Um, Buffy's literally dead <laughs> but she's wearing her beautiful prom dress and she looks gorgeous and she's come back to life and she's um about to kick ass basically it's just it, it, this is Buffy all out like she's all these sarcastic witty feisty sassy kind of remarks that she's killing you <laughs> um and so it's an item that makes you feel pretty and definitely especially in the summertime having a tan makes me feel pretty I don't know why but I always feel like that always looks prettier when it has a tan on it <laughs> um, instead of my pasty pale skin. So I am bringing in this. This is the Bondi Sands Aero Fake Tan. It's been open since last year. I've been using it since last year. Haven't really used it at all all winter. But so I want to finish it. I reckon I have half of it left. Um, so yeah, it's time. You know, the weather here at the moment is Baltic. Ball we had a week of glorious weather like summer weather not even spring summer weather proper heat and then it just dropped back down and there's like minus three and ice and snow and baltic winds baltic winds they would cut you as my mother would say they'd shave the whiskers off a kitten um but hopefully in the next couple of weeks it'll start to heat up and i'll be getting the legs out getting the arms out and i'll be tanning up so that's coming in to finish and that is it. How are you getting on? I know some people, I know Jen and I know Deb, have hopped on the Buffy bandwagon and have watched it and have enjoyed it, which I'm delighted with. I just... My love for Buffy is true and everlasting. At least once a year. Although at the moment, I can find it nowhere. It's not on Amazon Prime. It's not on Netflix. It's not on Channel 4. It's not on Sky. It's, it's nowhere. It's, where is it? Where is it? Who has bought the rights? Because this seems to happen. Channel 4 had bought the rights over this side of the world. And they were shown all of them. Now they're gone. Then I saw Amazon Prime. Or before that Amazon Prime had them. That was it. And Netflix had it before that. Nobody has it now. Where is it? Where is it? And I know 
Courtney, I think, said it's on Amazon in the US, but I've no access to that here and I don't have... I, I watch Amazon on my smart TV kind of thing, so there isn't any VPNs or anything like that that you can change, so... Rita, from 10 Red Lipsticks, you might have to send me your DVD set so I can sit down and watch it. <laughs> I'll drive up to you and I'll get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for today, guys. Are you doing this project? Are you enjoying it? Are you making progress? Are you loving the prompts? Tell me all about it because I just love it. Uh, but yeah, I'll chat to you in the next one, guys. Take care. Bye. Sloan.